Did you see the new price increases on Printify that are effective October 11th? Well, if not, stay tuned and I'll show you how to find out what they are and how to change your prices on Etsy if you didn't know how to do it in bulk. Make sure to stay tuned all the way until the end because I also have a couple extra tips for you on settings to set up in Etsy that you might have missed. And make sure to go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you've been enjoying my content so far. It really does help support my new little channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's start with how to know when Printify even raises their prices. So this is going to come directly to your email inbox when Printify raises their prices. You'll go ahead and get an email that shows that the price and shipping update updates and here it says from October 11th and it'll actually give you a link to review all of the changes because just because Printify is raising some of the prices doesn't mean they're going to be raising all of the prices. So it's important to know which items you are selling and go in and see how much those prices are actually getting increased. So let's go ahead and take a look at the changes that were updated as of October 11th. So when you click that link, it's gonna bring you to a document here that's gonna show you the price changes for everything. So there's gonna be an overall update here on if the product price changed or if the shipping changed. So you can take a look here to see, say Monster Digital, my favorite print provider, did have a price change. So you can come up here to the top and actually select your print provider. And this is going to take you to a document that'll show you exactly what the price changes were, whether you have Printify Premium or not. So here it's going to show you what model number the shirt is. So this is the next level 3600. So depending on what you sell, you're going to want to scroll through this document. But you also want to pay attention here to the top. So this says this is the old price for the standard, the new standard price, and this is the price difference. So if you're not paying for Printify Premium, this is the column you want to pay attention to. If you do pay for Printify Premium, then you want to pay attention to this column and see what the difference between these prices are. So let's scroll down and take a look at the Bella Canvas shirts and the Gildan 18,000s because those are the items I sell in my store. It's also going to tell you based on what colors you sell. So you want to pay attention to what you sell in your store. So I do sell the Athletic Heather Bella Canvas 3001s in my store, for instance. So here it's going to show me that the price of those is going up by 43 cents. You'll see some colors don't go up in price at all, so it is important to pay attention to all the different colors and all the different model numbers since the pricing can really change depending on what it is. So coming down to the Gildan 18,000 sweatshirts, that is my sweatshirt of choice. Here you can see the black sweatshirts went up by $1.05. Some of them went up by $1.45. The red went up by about a dollar. And so you can just see the total price changes. It's really anywhere from $1 to $2 for the price changes on the Gildan sweatshirts. So let's just take a look at what that means for your profit. So I know it's pretty obvious, it's only $1.05, but I wanna show you this for when the price changes are more drastic or more different. So let's take a look at the Etsy profit calculator that I have here in my income and expense report. So if you were selling your Gildan 18,000 sweatshirt at $36.99 and your old cost was $20.86, then after Etsy fees, you'd be making $12.17 profit per sweatshirt. But with the price increases, that's gonna go up to $21.91. So now for the same selling price, you'll only be making $11.12. So it is important to know that price increases are normal. With inflation, there is always going to be price changes over time. So it's nothing to worry about. Everybody's price is going up at the exact same time as you. So don't be scared to raise the prices in your store. Most of your competition is going to be raising their prices as well because the price of everything is going up. So don't be afraid of price changes. They just come with the territory and they are completely normal. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to bulk edit your pricing on Etsy if you do ever want to update the prices due to the price increases. 
The best way to bulk edit all of your listings at once is to come here to the listings page. I'm just in my mock-up store that I sell pictures of the t-shirts since I don't actually share my personal Etsy shop since that's what pays my family's bills. So we'll use this as an example. So you'll go ahead to this top little corner here and you can click this little arrow and say select all 396 listings. You can come here to editing options and you can go to edit prices. So here you can choose how you want to raise the amount. You could literally raise every item in your shop by a dollar and five cents and that'll do that for you. You could raise it by just a dollar so it keeps it about an even number. You can bulk decrease prices. You can set a full new amount and make everything a different price, but don't do this necessarily if you're selling, say, t-shirts and you have the small through large at one price and the 2XL and 3XL at a different price. This will change all of those to the same thing. You can also increase by percentage or decrease by percentage. So there's a lot of different options that you can use on Etsy to bulk edit your listings. Now, if you have different priced items, like say only the sweatshirts go up in price, you could go to your actual categories and you could select say only your sweatshirts if you have all of those in a category together. And then you could select only the ones in these pages. So now I only have 161 selected. Now, if you don't have yours sorted just so well, then you may have to go through and manually click each of them, but then you can go ahead and still bulk edit all of them at once to the new prices. So what else can you bulk edit here on Etsy you might be asking. You can bulk edit lots of things like your titles and your tags. So let's say you want to add a certain keyword that's really popular on Etsy this year, like holiday apparel or something. You can go ahead and add that to the beginning of your titles, the end of your titles, or you can even find and replace or delete things. So this is actually really valuable when something gets trademarked. So let's say the word meowy, Christmas gets trademarked. You can go ahead and push delete. So you'd have to actually type it in. So say so, meowy Christmas. If that gets deleted, then you wanna go ahead and click delete all instances, and then you can click apply. But it is case sensitive and it will look for an exact match. So you need to know exactly the way you typed it in. The way you can make sure that you deleted all of the things that were trademarked is you can come here to this search bar here and you type in Meowy Christmas and type enter, and then you'll know for sure if those were edited out. So you could just type in, I'm just gonna type in 3001 because this isn't a t-shirt shop. And then you can go ahead and click this quick edit button. This is another way that you can really quickly edit titles and tags all at once if you don't wanna do it bulk and just want to bulk edit a few of them all at your own pace. Another fun tip to make sure that's turned on in your Etsy shop is this stats button. So if you go ahead and click this toggle, it's actually gonna show you your visits and your favorites for the last 30 days. So this is a really fun piece of information. And then you'll actually be able to see your all-time sales, your revenue, and your renewals on every single listing. So I would recommend hitting that toggle for sure. You can also edit things like your descriptions, your tags, your personalization, your production partners, your renewal options, your shipping profiles, your return and exchange policies, and you can change what section items are in. So I have two more quick tips for you that not everybody knows about. So when you go to someone's Etsy store and you actually click on the number of sales they have, sometimes it'll actually take you to a page that shows you every single individual item they've ever sold. This can be a gold mine when you're looking for new niches to make designs for, but you don't wanna be the one that gets stalked that way. So I'll go ahead and show you how to hide that if you don't currently have yours hidden. So you'll go back to your shop manager you wanna come down here to your settings. You'll come up here to your options. And then all the way at the bottom of this page, you'll see sold listings, want shoppers to be able to see these, and you're gonna click no, hide them. But before you hit save, there's a couple other really good ones in here that you can go ahead and enable or disable. If you're using Printify, they don't offer gift messages. So you can go ahead and disable that so your customers don't leave you gift messages. You can disable gift wrapping, you can enable custom order requests if you're okay with offering those. Once you have all of this selected, you can go ahead and click save. 
I really hope that this quick tutorial was helpful for you in knowing how to know when Printify raises their prices and how to go ahead and bulk edit them when you do want to raise those. I also hope those other quick Etsy tips help make your processes go so much easier in the future when you do need to make changes. And I do have that income and expense report with the built-in Etsy profit calculator available down in the description if you haven't picked that up yet. And we'll see you in the next one.